claims that have the X's on them belong to us, Mr. Harrison. That is correct, Mr. Harrison. Uh, we've gotten control of all the silver claims in the area, uh, but this one. What? Where? Why haven't we got that one, too? The claim belongs to a stubborn Irishman by the name of Tim O'Brien. Holmes has been unable to get him to sell or negotiate in any manner whatsoever. Won't negotiate? Negotiation is the backbone of our civilization. Force him to negotiate. I think I've got the answer, Chief. Item number one. Tim O'Brien has all his money deposited in the Virginia City branch of our bank. And to the tune of nearly $100,000. Oh, the man's a fool. Item number two. About a month ago, he bought $10,000 worth of machinery from your mine equipment company. And we've seen to it that the bill has not yet been paid. Were you also far-sighted enough to require his claim as collateral for the equipment? That is item number three. Close the doors of our Virginia City branch. Declare it insolvent. And demand immediate payment for the equipment. And when O'Brien can't pay, foreclose and take over his claim. Chief, we might have just one problem. I don't have problems. I give them. It's Ben Cartwright. He's a good friend of Tim O'Brien's. And he might cause a stink about this. Let him. It won't do any good. Ben Cartwright will have troubles of his own soon enough. What do you mean, sir? After we acquire Tim O'Brien's claim, can you guess what piece of Nevada real estate we're going after next? Not the... the Ponderosa. Precisely. The Ponderosa. I want it all. I want everything. Good-looking briefcase you got, Pa. Well, it ought to be. It's genuine kangaroo. Now we got your horses all saddled up, Pa. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, boys. Now you know what my policy is. When Adam and I are away on business, I like to leave one of you two in charge. Yeah. I'm leaving you in charge, Joseph. I? Huh? Me? That's right. You'll be in charge of ranch operations and uh, make all the decisions just as I do. Wait a minute. You mean that I'm the boss? I'm the head man? <laughs> That's right. I'm giving you a blank check as far as the Ponderosa is concerned. Well, you know, I've been thinking there's a few changes we ought to make around here. Changes? Oh, well, not, not exactly changes, sir. Improvements. I mean, like, uh, well, cleaning the stable and uh, all those fence posts above the ravine, they, they need to be replaced, they're all full of dry rot, you know, things like that. All right. Oh, uh, Joseph, about those uh, improvements, nothing too drastic, huh? No, 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 sir, no, nothing drastic. Now, listen, you, you and Adam, you go, have a good time, stay as long as you want, I'll take care of everything. Sure, you know what you're doing. Yes, I want Joseph to have the responsibility. <laughs> Gotta learn that running a ranch as big as the Ponderosa isn't as easy as it seems. Yes, but you left him with a blank check. When we get back, we'll probably find the ranch has been traded off for a salted gold mine up in Alaska. Oh, now, stop worrying. He'll be so busy cleaning stables and repairing fences, he won't have time for anything else. <laughs> After you finish branding the new calves, I want you to whitewash the smokehouse. Whitewash the smokehouse? Joe, we got hired hands to do stuff like that. I got other plans for the hired hands. Boss, don't you remember what it was like when Pa left you to be boss? 
Yeah. What else you want me to do? If you finish with the whitewashing, I want you to build a new ramp up into the stable. And then... Wait a minute, Joe. Just one thing I gotta find out. What do you want me to be doing when I ain't busy? Oh, I'll, I'll think of something, Hoss. So long. You ain't going town with me. You're gonna have to knock on it. Tell. Mm hmm. Come on, hurry up. Oh, there's another brush there. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. That's good thinking. What you gonna be doing down there? What? There, there's a fellow advertising. He's got a prize bull for sale in Placerville. Okay. I'm gonna send him a telegram telling him I'm gonna buy it. It says here he wants a thousand dollars for that bull. Yeah. Oh, well, Pa left me a blank check, didn't he? Told me to make all decision. Figure buying this bull is a decision. <laughs> I've got a lot of business to take care of. You are running the ranch? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that reminds me. I'm going to send a telegram to Placerville, California, to a uh, Mr. Wait, wait, wait. We haven't strung any telegraph wires to Placerville yet. No, the only way to get in touch with anyone there is you know, regular mail. No. Well, better get the letter written. Hey, 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 little Joe. Yeah. You ain't forgot how to send and receive Morse code, have you? Oh, no, I remember it. Uh, Chris and I gave up the idea of being a telegrapher. That's uh, kind of kid stuff compared to running one of the biggest spreads in Nevada. Hmm? What do you ask? Oh, nothing else. I was figuring on showing you something I got for the uh, the new rig. If you know, if you'd watch the key for a minute, but uh, I guess you wouldn't be much interested now. And a new rig? Yeah. Hey. Oh, you didn't get a sulky, did you? Better than that. I got my pa's old buggy. See what I'm doing? I'm stripping it down. See, I'm, huh? I'm cutting it under. Yeah. And I'm adding a stick seat. Oh, stick seat. Yeah. Hey, well, what about the springs? Oh, oversized, naturally. Yeah, good. You don't know the best part. I got myself a pair. Get this. Panel boot Victoria lamps from Boston. Oh, panel boot Victoria. Nice. Want to see them? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Watch the key for a minute. I'll go get them. Right. One minute. To J.R. Huggins, manager, Harrison Branch Bank. Virginia City, Nevada. Declaring Virginia City branch insolvent. Stop. You hereby ordered to close bank and forward all assets to Harrison Corporation. And John J. Harrison. really great, Frank. Great? Uh, that's all you're going to say about it? Hey, look, have you seen my brother, Hoss? Uh, yeah, I saw him down in front of the bucket of blood. All right, thanks. Oh, hey, uh, any messages while I was away? No, no, Frank. None to speak of. Uh, you probably never even saw a panel boot Victoria lamp before.